Well, wouldn't you know it, guys? We need this house furnace to go vroom vroom again. So let's get down to business. Got a little info here. We're gonna go ahead and hit our button and see what happens. There's our little draft fan coming on. It's a little noisy. Sensor picks it up. Sends power to the igniter. Oh, hotness at the igniter. Let's check for voltage. It's got voltage. It's gonna be our igniter. We got 125 volts at those wires when the igniter's commanded on. So we know that's good. As long as there's no problem with these wires going to the igniter, then we know it's the igniter. Got the new igniter here packaged up for us. You can always just check your part number and replace it, not touch the igniter. We just got one screw right there. For voltage testing, I used my handy dandy multimeter and this igniter doesn't appear to have any cracks in it but the block is really hot typically you're going to have a crack in these this style when it goes out but not this time the pigtail on this igniter was quite a bit shorter we're going to have to add some length but it's on there now we give it the old test using ceramic wire nuts fan kicks on sensor picks it up tells the igniter to come on there we go she's heating up now that's a fix 